Hi guys, welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. My name is Shanae and if I look a little bit strange, it's because I don't have my eyebrows on and it feels really weird because I did my full face routine today without doing my eyebrows. But basically today I'm going to show you one of my eyebrow routines when I want kind of like a bold brow and I want it to last. Today's video is going to feature the Maybelline Tattoo Brow and I have used this numerous times so I know how to use it. I know all the directions and everything. Also before I forget, don't forget to subscribe to the Maybelline channel so you guys are updated every time we upload more Maybelline Makeup Loft videos. You can like the video, comment down below, let me know what you guys want to see because I'm taking ideas and suggestions from you guys every time you comment and I won't waste any more time let's just get straight into applying this okay so I've zoomed you guys in I'm going to pin this side of my fringe back just so it's not in my face so like I said before I'm using the tattoo brow this one is in the color medium brown and when you open it it's just like a really thin thick kind of gel formula. I'll be honest, the first time I used this, I was really scared because I was just like, oh my God, my brows look like they're black. So before I did start, I did make sure that I wiped all the foundation off my eyebrows just so it didn't interfere with me applying the gel or tinting the brow. So you can see where like I've kind of got my problem areas of my brows, like especially the front is the main problem. It just doesn't grow there. And my brows are of course quite light and they look even lighter when I've got like a full face of makeup on. So honestly, it's really not that hard. It is daunting when you first try it, but I'm going to start brushing this through my brow. I'm also going to make sure it is quite a good thick coating just so, you know, I really get the pigment on there and you can peel it off kind of like in one go. So I'm just going to start wherever I feel and I have already like brushed through my brows as well. If you guys did watch like my last Maybelline makeup loft video, the date night makeup look, you guys like would have seen I love quite bold brows. So if I do ever make any mistakes, I just kind of take a makeup wipe and I'll just kind of like run that over and just take off what I need. So I obviously don't have that much hair towards the front of my brow, but I still apply it there because I feel like it does leave um, a little bit of a stain on the skin, which helps me so much because my brows are so, so sparse. I would also recommend after like you've peeled these off after 20 minutes, don't like kind of wash that area like for a while, I would say at least 24 hours if you want to be really safe and make sure that tint really does last. That's probably the best advice I can give you guys just on like personal experience of using the product just kind of yeah avoid wetting that area another tip I'm going to give you guys is I have a little bit of trouble kind of getting underneath my brow and getting a really clean line just because I feel like my brows are just kind of very messy and sparse so I will take the product and I guess you can put it on the back of your hand or on a mixing plate for your makeup mixing tray <laughs> I'm going to put it on just a mixing tray and I'm going to take an angled brush and I'm going to dip it straight in and that way I can just get like a really clean line of where I want the product. I feel like this step is like the best for the tail end of the brow just because it gets a little bit like tricky. Okay so hopefully I put that eyebrow on okay. If not we can probably just clean it up with some concealer but I'm going to go ahead and put my other eyebrow on. Okay, so I've got my eyebrows on. I'm not sure if they even look even, like I just I just can't tell. But while I let these dry down for about 20 minutes, I'm going to fix up all the foundation around my eyebrows. And for foundation, I just use the Maybelline um, Superstay foundation. This one is in the color sand. I'm just going to fix up all these areas where I've kind of like wiped it away. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and my eyebrows seem to have completely dried down. So we're going to peel them off and reveal what we have. I reckon that was a fair effort. 
so as you can tell at the front like I don't have like any hair so it is lighter but what I like to do like after I've done my eyebrows is just go in with like an eyebrow gel and just kind of place them just so you know it looks a little bit fuller at the front again just brushing that through so these are my brows with no product in them I haven't put like any gel or anything in them yet I've just kind of brushed them into place and you can see the biggest difference that it's made like I've got eyebrows now which I'm happy about okay so I've cleaned up around my eyebrows a little bit more with some foundation I feel like that's really pulled it all together so if I was going to the beach or going swimming or anything I wouldn't put like anything in my eyebrows I would just leave them as is but because I'm not doing that I'm still going to put an eyebrow gel in my um, eyebrows just because it does make them look a little bit more full especially towards the front that's like kind of my problem area so I've got the Maybelline brow precise fiber volumizer and I feel like this just adds like volume to the eyebrows and I would do this on a normal day-to-day -day basis even if I did like have my eyebrows tinted for me personally it just really holds like the eyebrows in place like throughout the day so that's why I like to do this step okay guys so that's how I do my bold brows with the tattoo brow I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it don't forget to like the video comment down below let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see subscribe and make sure you hit the bell button as well because that will keep you notified every time we upload new Maybelline makeup loft videos anyway I'll probably see you guys really soon in another Maybelline makeup loft video bye